Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about a real world use case of business rule. This question was asked on ServiceNow community and I thought of making a video on this so it's easier for everyone and especially for the newbies who want to learn business rules and they want to write a business rule which can be used in real world so they get the hands on practice of that as well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So this is the use case which we will be developing. As a developer, I want the KB article author name change to knowledge base manager when the author leaves the organization so that all the knowledge articles have active authors. So for example, if you are aware about knowledge base, they have knowledge articles under those and those articles are written by someone. Those are the knowledge article authors and that each knowledge article has a knowledge base attached to that as well. So for example, if the author leaves the organization, then there will be no one responsible for that particular article. So that's the reason we are making knowledge base manager as the author of that article. I will go ahead and show you now a knowledge article record. How does it look and then a knowledge base record as well so that you will have an idea what we are trying to do. So let's quickly jump to service now. I'm in service now and we will go to a knowledge base record. So I'll just quickly type knowledge base and I will click on knowledge bases under administration. So there are four out of the box as of now. Let's take a look at IT. So this is a knowledge base for the IT people. They are managing that and if you see we don't have a manager here currently. The field is empty and it is of type list. So we have a tricky use case here as well. How to read this value in the script and then how to get that value and update that in the article. So we will take a look at that later. But let's look at this record now. So the title is IT. So this is a knowledge base record of IT. The owner is Burnett and there is a workflow running for publishing and then for retire. And if we scroll down, you will see there are 33 articles under this knowledge base. So there is a knowledge base of IT and there are 33 articles under that. Now let's go and open one of the articles so that we can see that record maybe this 14 number. So once this opens, you would see there is a reference back to the knowledge base. So that's how the knowledge base is connected to knowledge article and then we have the category uh, when it was published and what is it valid up to in short description and obviously the article body. So these are the fields which are present on knowledge article but we are concerned about one field about our use case which is the author field. So this is the author field which we are concerned about. So this should be updated whenever this person leaves the organization. Let's take example of this Sam Sorokin. So whenever he leaves this organization, the article author should change to the knowledge based manager. So right now it's empty. So for our use case testing purpose, when we will write the script, we will test it on this particular knowledge base and for that particular user. So I will go ahead and maybe add couple of managers here. ITL user maybe and then maybe a change manager. Okay, so these are two users out of the box in service now and we are using. So I will save this record. So now if you notice there are two knowledge base managers, but the author field can accept only one record. So what we will be doing in the use case is we will be assigning the first record of the manager. Maybe in this case is ITL user as the author of that article. Let's see the logic how we will be building it and then I will explain you the details further. So this is the logic. We will write a business rule on the users table which will run whenever a user is marked inactive. So if you know the basics about business rules, we have four types of business rules and we will be running it after a record has been updated or maybe async. And then we will update the name of knowledge base article author. So the article author will be replaced by knowledge base manager. So this is the logic which we will be building. So let's go ahead in service now and start writing that business rule. I will type business rules here and I will create a new business rule. If you don't know about basics of business rules, I have already created a video for that. 
to refer that video it's in the description and as well as on the top right corner so i will write this business rule name as maybe replace kb author with manager and it will be written on the user table because that's where the users will be marked inactive and it should trigger at that point sys underscore user and i will select the user table here and i will mark this business rule as advanced ideally when we will be writing this business rule in production or in the client instances we should make it as async because the update or the user record should not delay on the front end or maybe if it is a background job even it should not delay that as well so you should do it as async but for our testing purpose we will make it after as of now and after update and in conditions i will give active is false so i will have this condition and then i will go to advanced now we have to replace knowledge base article author with the knowledge base manager for that whenever this script will trigger we will run a query on the knowledge base article table so i will just get the name of this knowledge base article table that is called kb underscore knowledge i will copy this and i will write a glide record here so where kb underscore gr equals to glide record and i will give the name of the table here i will copy this and i will add encoded query and here i have to give the query or i have to find all the records or i have to find all the articles where the user who was marked inactive he is the author there so i have to find the backend name of the author field for that i will go ahead and go to configure form layout and i will add that author field here in the front end to make things easier for us so i'll just drag and drop this on the right hand side i'll move it on the top and i will save this and now the author field will start appearing in the front end so here the author field is appearing now i will right click on this and this is the backend name of the author field which shows as author i will put the query here as author equals to and then current dot sys id so i will pick the sys id of the current user who was marked inactive after that i will say dot query and while kb underscore gr dot next and then i will run this while loop and i will try to find out all the records one by one and update the value of the author and now if you remember i had told you that knowledge base manager is a list type of field so it has multiple records so it will actually return all the sys ids in comma separated value so you have to handle that scenario in your script and then you have to copy that record or the first record into the knowledge base article author to handle that scenario we will quickly declare two variables on the top saying variable maybe where underscore kb underscore managers and then another variable of array type so i would say where underscore array underscore kb underscore managers after this i will copy the value of all the managers which will be retrieved from the knowledge base into this variable so i have to dot work for that so i will just copy this glide record dot knowledge base so this is the knowledge base field i'll right click on this and i will get this name kb underscore knowledge base kb underscore knowledge base dot and then the manager information for that i will go to this knowledge base record right click here get the backend name as kb underscore managers so kb underscore managers and now it will return me a string value of all the managers and that would be stored in this variable now i have to split those values and put it in an array so that i can differentiate all those values for that i will use this array variable which i had created and then i will use a split function so where kb managers dot split and then i will split it with the comma variable because th those would be comma separated values i will add couple of log so i will use gs dot add info message maybe 
and then I will put my name here to just to differentiate the logs and here I will try to print this value of all the managers which would be separated by commas and then it would be converted into array and then we will pick up the first value in the array and then copy it to the author field simple so for that I will do kb underscore gr dot author equals to this array's first element so that is zero and we will update the glide record kb underscore gr dot update so we would also want to put a guardrail around that if the manager field doesn't have anything like it was out of the box right so what we can do is we can have an if condition here so if these managers is not empty okay and then end this loop here i will format this code and then quickly let's go through this code once what it's doing line by line so i have written a glide record on the knowledge article table we are bringing all the articles of which the current business rule is running on so the user which was marked inactive we will be bringing all those articles where he was the author and then we are running this while loop we are now bringing the knowledge base managers where this article was being referred to so this article was referred to this knowledge base and we are bringing the manager of this knowledge base which is itl user and change manager which we had updated and after that we have a log message to print all the managers and after that we are copying the value of these managers field which would be a string field and separated by comma in so that they are converted into an array and it's easier for us to traverse and then in this knowledge base article we will be replacing author with the first manager okay if there are no managers we have handled that scenario in this line number nine so it will be ignored but if there are multiple managers the first record which would be returned will be set as author and and if there is only one record it would be copied as author and then we are updating the knowledge base article record so it's as simple as that i will go ahead and save this business rule and we will trigger this business rule in a second let's take out all the records where sam sorokin is the author so for that i will again go to my navigation i will open knowledge article table i will add a filter here for the user sam so author is sam sorokin i will find that record and i will run this so right now if you see there are five records where sam sorokin is the author i have copied these five knowledge base article numbers in a notepad so we will search them later when the system will update their authors now we will go to sam sorokin's user record and we will deactivate this user so as soon as we will deactivate our new business rule will trigger and it will show us five log messages where it has updated the authors so i will deactivate this and save so we have received five messages here and these are the sys ids of the itl user and the change manager and one of them would be set as the knowledge base article author so let's go back to the filter which we had here so there are five records as of now i will click on this again and there are no records i will copy all the article numbers from here and i will again update the filter and now i will give the filter as number is one of and i will paste all the article numbers here and i will run this and you would see the author has been updated to itl user as soon as sam will leave the organization or sam's record is marked inactive so you would see on this particular article it was updated as itl user this is the same number which is on the filter so, so this is a real world use case which is really essential so that your knowledge base articles always have an active user so that they are managed properly i hope you have learned something new and you can go ahead and try that in your personal developer instances to learn deeply about business rules so that you do this coding from your hand and you will be more confident i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and thanks for watching video till the end.